All right, warriors, we're going to do a breathing exercise. We're going to take five seconds, five Mississippis. We're going to breathe in deep, hold it, release together, and then take a badass walk on that beach. Let's do this, warriors. Let's regiment our minds so that we can just have a badass conversation without you self-convicting and or being triggered. Look, you're in your place of peace. If we can connect some dots and add some puzzle pieces to make sense, the better we're going to be. In order to tackle the ruminatious, as one might say it, we got to strategize. We got to figure out what is it we can do. What is the best revenge? How can we apply it in simple terms now? Not using these big ass words, intellectual jargon, right? Street talk. Let's take it down to a level, man. Simple application. Y'all ready for a talk? Five seconds, warriors. Let's alchemize some hurt. Come on in. Release slowly. <laughs> All right. Release, release. Let that shit go. It's not yours. Well, your narcissists, they want you to beg. Many of you don't realize this, but when you met the narcissist way back when, they were in dire straits. Many of them were already destitute. They were on their last leg when they love bombed you and came in to your life. They didn't like the fact that they were in that disposition and they want you to feel what it feels like to have to kiss ass and beg. Even though you didn't force that out of them, you didn't even have any idea that this is what's going on in the narcissist's mind. But the bottom line is, it's why they want to discard you and sabotage your jobs, sabotage your ability to support yourself. They, they sabotage your relationships with your family, your own children. Because they need you to grovel and come back begging. They want to put you in your place, so to speak. Because they didn't like the feeling and they never forgot. Warriors, the best revenge for you is not to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Because Ignat wants you to play right into that. Because they have another plan which is to get you locked up or to ruin your reputation so that you have a record and now you're unemployable. Now you're ostracized by society just like them or they need you to be less worth of whoever it is that they're monkey jumping toward. You see, because they're a piece of shit. But they need you to look lesser than the piece of shit. You see, even on your worst day, they wouldn't have made a pimple on your ass on their best day. Well, here's the best revenge, and you're going to learn this, is to be covert in your plans. You don't share them with anybody. You're going to be cold, and you're going to be quiet. You're going to shut the fuck up. And you never want to let anyone know what you're plotting. Your great escape is only for you. Warriors, the best way to do this is for them to lose all access to you. Silence and absence. Now, I need you to also become indifferent when anyone else brings it up. The flying monkeys, the enablers... Even folks that just in passing and had nothing to do with it that bring it up. You need to be very indifferent. Oh, yeah, that's a thing of the past. I don't even talk about it anymore. Warriors, to become indifferent is to ignore them. Becoming invisible. And then the next step is time to work on your ass. Your deficiencies. Your boundaries. Not just wordplay. I'm talking your boundaries. 
Warriors, once you start working on that, you're going to have a come up. It's only natural that you begin to see things clearly. And look, this is one of the things that you need to be aware of. In all aspects of life, you need to make sure that everything about you is badass. Dress to the nines. Do what you need to do. Even if you hate it, you do it like you fucking love it. Every day. Be regimented. What narcissists fail to do is execute with consistency. They got a whole lot of quit in them. They got a shitload of fucking ideas, but they fail to launch. They cannot stay regimented and disciplined with consistency. They're always looking for the shortcuts. Warriors, trust me on this. How you look, how you manage your finances, how you take care of the equipment that you have, the home that you live in, and steadily, little by little, working on yourself, this is the best revenge. Because understand, all eyes are on you, whether you know it or not, even if you relocate it. Narcissists can even feel it and sense it. You are already better than they were, even on your worst day. Recognize that. Baby steps. Warriors from afar, narcissists are watching you live your best life genuinely, not fate. You see, in all the triangulation and all the manipulation that narcissists do, all of it is a facade, an illusion. In their own delusion, they created a fanfare as if they're wanted, they're needed, and they're just waiting for your approach. And what you don't realize is they're needing to be bailed out again. Warriors, you know they're misfits. You know they make stupid-ass decisions. And did you know the Jezebel spirit has no power without Ahab? The Jezebel must have an Ahab to empower them. Jezebel isn't shit without an Ahab enabler. In other words, the Jezebel spirit is a parasite, a clout chaser. It doesn't create. They're not your top managers. They're not your badasses running and creating. They are a parasite, a tick on your left nut. You just happen to look down and go, fuck, if I don't shake this off, I might end up with the Lyme disease. Jezebel has no power without an Ahab. So the great question is, are you the Ahab? Are you empowering the Jezebel? Become indifferent. With your silence and absence, Jezebel is powerless. Can I get a what, what? Warriors, your every breath, your every step is kryptonite to the narcissist, especially those that were family members around you that grew up in the same environment as you. And the reason why is because you Take away all the excuses that they have for why they're in the position they're in. Because you had it worse than they did. And you're better off than they are. But you don't have any excuses, nor do you entertain them. And in your presence, their stories fall on deaf ears. In fact, you probably give them that fucked up look like I do. The fuck are you talking about? Shake the dirt off your ass. Hey, hey, shh, shh. you dropped your nuts. Pick them back up. Warrior seat with you, there are no damn excuses. Narcissists couldn't walk an hour in your fucking boots, much less a day or the life. But they sure want to hang on your coattails when you reach that finish line. So when you build yourself up, you remain indifferent. 
And now you know what boundaries are and how important they are. Warriors, you're not going to fall for that love bomb anymore, nor are you going to allow others to introduce themselves to you. Narcissists are real quick on the introduction. Man, I feel like we're friends now. Don't, aren't we buddies now? Aren't, don't, what do you think? I'll let you know real fucking quick. For all I know, you're a sociopath. Don't go inviting yourself over to me again. You're not welcome. Warriors, that's a boundary. Hold fast to it. And it will fall off your tongue ever so eloquently when the time is right. In the meantime, you plan your escape. You plan it covertly. And you shut the fuck up. You don't share those plans. Narcissists are listening everywhere. And even the ones who haven't had the privilege of taking advantage of you are watching you. Because the secretos have been shared with a whole bunch of other narcissists because they brag with each other like that. And most are just waiting their turn. How you handle this right now is so key. Many of you did not execute it properly and it's why you feel like you're being attacked on all sides by all of the rest of the pygmies, the orbiters. Had you destroyed the dysfunction and left it destitute like it was when you met them, then the rest would have hauled ass. In fact, they want to switch sides. You see, no one wants to be on the losing side in the battle. Narcissists are the first to jump ship. The ones coming to you first with the scuttlebutt, the chisme, the novella. The ones coming to you to tell you things that you already know are trying to gain your confidence with half-truths. Because the other half is, they're not telling you, is how they participationist in trying to capture and destroy your delicious ass. I wish a bitch would. Warriors get out there and own it. You got this. You ain't nobody's bitch. And today, today, you're gonna own it. Warriors, your indifference is key. Your absence in silence will destroy the narcissist. never goodbye warriors it's always until next time appreciate all your support namaste warriors jesse what are you doing today we're gonna skydive today we're gonna leap sky of faith. Leap of <laughs> hey that's what this is doing it for the tribe the that's... warrior tribe do you know how high we're going did 14, they tell you close 14,500 feet yep and then we're gonna all be right. falling at a high rate of speed. <laughs> very fast. We're going to be falling very fast. We're going to be falling gonna at be 100, high. 120 miles an hour. Sweet. Have you ever gone that fast before? No, I have not. Okay. Are you ready to go that fast? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to do it today. <laughs> you got my back. Yep. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your face, but you know, your TI will have your back. All right. All what right. made you want to skydive? What, what brought you here today? Facing fear. Yeah? Are you afraid of Facing heights? Facing fear. Head on. No. No. <laughs> I'm afraid of not trying new hey, opportunities. There you go. I'm afraid of living in the woulda, shoulda, coulda, and I'm not going to do it. Lead and live by example. There you go. You heard it here first from Jesse. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. What's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't want to waste what's left And on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on
You know, honestly, I have no idea who won the sword fight, so I guess we'll have to call it a draw. There you go. We'll have to do it again. <laughs> All right, when are you going to get your license now? I'm going to work on it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be well, back. Jesse, right. thank you for jumping with us at Skydive Lone Star. Man, Do you have anything you'd like to mine. say? What an honor. Badass crew. I love it here. The hospitality is just phenomenal. Five stars. If there were ten, I'd give it to you. We'll take ten. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> My brother. That was, what a fun ride. Hey, awesome? man. Glad y'all came out. What an experience. Come and see us again. Thank you.